So the first thing I need to get online is my microphone. Just do an audio check back. Uh, it's all good. And with any luck, I've got some desktop sounds in here somewhere. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, I can. I can hear some noises. Yep, I can hear me walking around, so that's a good sign. Yep, okie dokie. So, welcome to the Let's Play Minecraft Together server, and this is the Never Hub. And I'm Mon PJC, and I'm wearing my hat, which is uh, very rude. There we go. Hi, hi everyone, and welcome to the Let's Play Minecraft server. And today I'm doing a bit of a stream and just seeing what's going on. And I'm going to be heading off to a jungle. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to tell everyone what I'm actually doing. Just so you all know, I'm currently doing a live stream. That would be really helpful. Um, just doing my little wink. There we go. Right, let's have a bit of this. Right, and we're going off to the South Tunnel is where we're going to be going because I've volunteered to do some grindy stuff for another member on here who I don't really know to be honest but I thought you know I've actually been finding it a little bit difficult getting the enthusiasm to do some of my uh, videos right now so I thought that I'd like a hop on here and uh, <clears throat> just do some grindy stuff basically because this is, I'm, I'm quite good at the old grindy stuff uh, but let's have a look um, no, it was 21,000 south, I believe, is where I've got to go. Does that mean I've got to go 21,000, like, coordinates-wise? Uh, the... Do, 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 do. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do that. Right, so let's head out this way. 21,000. That's a lot further than I thought it was probably going to be. Hmm. This might take a while. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm out of the range. I really should have bought a boat. Has uh, anyone, anyone left any boats at the portals? Uh, no. So this, this tunnel, if no one's ever seen this before, is in the Never. And I guess this distance is uh, quite of a long way to go. And I really should have brought a boat. So rookie mistake number one. Always bring a boat. Because then you can get there a lot quicker. Well, I guess I can figure that out. So they're saying that I can do it. I'm just going to hold the key down and I'm going to try and multitask and do two things at once. This would be fun. Uh, so I'm going to go on here. Bot commands. There we go. Can I do this at the same time? So I think if you're in Discord and you just do something like command then it tells you what the commands are I think that's how it's supposed to work not really sure that did nothing 
Maybe if I try the word help. Maybe the little bot will tell me what I need to do to help. So I've only got a thousand blocks so far. So I'm just going to have a little nose here. Boats! Oh, what a star. I think I'm going the right way. Right, let's see that. Uh, one boat. Dink, dink, and here we go. Wow, that's a lot quicker. Oh, my boat steering's terrible. There we go. 21,000 in a boat. I'm always going to have to keep a boat with me, basically. Wow. This is seriously fast. Uh, it won't take us that lot. Pumpkin signs and all sorts. Coming up on 2,000 blocks. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Gone past it. Gone past it. Oh, stop. Um, so let's go back here. So apparently it's some sort of... Ah, there we go. There is a jungle. Let's play Minecraft together. Zoo. Yay, I found it. Uh, right, let's turn that off. So apparently I'm supposed to be able to do this in the whole ping thing. This is um, pinned messages. Um, nope, doesn't say in there. So maybe what we have to do is go into... Oh, hi Unwoven. Uh, thank you very much uh, for, the, uh, for the follow. That's very nice of you. Uh guess people are working out where I am anyway, even if I can't work out how to get this stuff to work. I am a complete noob when it comes to being on servers, to be honest. So, well, not a noob. I'm just used to doing my own thing. Okay, so we do colon, self-promo, and the link. Hey, I can do that. Right, so let's have a go. I've got an iPad open. I've got my phone open. If only I can type on my phone as well. What do you do? Oh, no, because we don't type in there. We type it in this one, don't we? Ha, ha, ha. Rainbow's just posted in here how to do it. Look at that. Self-promo and it'd be twitch.tv, the biggie slash, not the sort of slash where you go to the toilet or anything like that. That's a sort of like a, a slashy sign. And Mon PJC, obviously, because that's who I am. And if I can spell it with an O rather than something else and not spell Min PJC, that'd be awesome. There we go. Uh, you're not allowed to send that. What? What do you mean you're not allowed to send that? Am I sending it in the wrong place? I don't know. I'm going to work this out later because you know what? I'm supposed to actually be streaming and not sort of sitting here talking. Anyone will find me. I don't care. Right, my boat. Where am I going to put my boat? I'm going to put my boat in there. Right. Was there any other messages? PB Inc. I don't know who the heck PB Inc. is. I've been sent here to do a job. What's in there? More boats. I'm keeping mine. Thanks very much. Right. Um, did you know there are 22 common spawns for twin tropical fish? But the coding allows there to be 2,700 variants of unique tropical fish. That's a lot of fish. That is a lot of fish. Hi, hi, Unwoven there in the post. Uh, yeah, if you could post that for me in the Discord, that'd be awesome because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. And am I allowed to eat these? I'm guessing not. Oh, it was another sign. Did you know that pink sheep have a... 0.164 natural spawn rate. Really? I didn't know pink sheep could spawn. I've learnt something. Did you know puffer fish count as a defense, defensive passive mod? Well, I know they like bite back. Did you know zombies have five species? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, 
Oh, WM fam doesn't know I'm on the way. Did you know the bunny killer is one of four unused mobs? I've never ever seen the bunny, but the bunny mob, the killer one. Did you know before 1.14 you got cats via taming? Yeah, I did know that. I did know that. So I'm going to hop through here, and then as fam appears to be online, I'm going to ping a remet. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, buddy. Have you got a name? Nope, you're just parrot. Okay, so let's have a look around here. There's a lot of glass and some shulker boxes and maps. Okie dokie. Uh, now, what I've got to do now is fathom out where I am and where she wants me to cut down all these trees. I brought me axe. Look, it's Winnie's backup axe. See, so I'm, a, I'm official. I'm allowed to allowed to use it she gave it to me it's a backup i've actually got winnie's box here as well and steel toads box as well they gave me stuff people on here are very friendly um right let's i don't think uh fam's not actually on the server but she's in discord because i saw a message come up down the bottom there it's all very funky uh so i'm gonna have a go at that's completely the wrong app Let's go in here, and what we're going to do is just ping her a message and say, where on earth do you want these trees cut down? Because she's online. So I'm now typing, for those of you who can't see, Hi, I'm over at the zoo portal. Where do I start chopping and a smiley face because i'm friendly there we go um so this is the so basically i think this is where the map is these little green things means this is where the map is oh look at that oh that's fancy oh that's nice and something about over there you don't chop actually there's, they've done quite a lot of tree chopping already just go north and you'll find all the forest, she said. Okie uh, dokie. Uh, which way am I facing? I've lost. Where is me? Oh, I am terrible at this. Oh, north. North is that way. Oh, that's the wrong key. There we go. Anyone think I know what I'm doing? Go north and you just. I have an epic plan to replay Limby and Power. Oh, okay. Just go north and you'll find the forest, she said. Okay. Here we go. I didn't check out if there was any supplies there or anything. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Don't water we go. Do 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 do. Ah, I see. Remains of trees. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know who left them up there. That that's this. This is not the quality of service I offer others. By the way, when I come to do a job, I get rid of all the loose trees. I wonder how many people are out there thinking that are on this community, if they happen to watch this back, are going, why is he not flying? I, I tell you a secret. I haven't got a clue how to fly in this game. I tried and I keep crashing and getting hurt a lot. And I don't have any rockets. So, there. That's that. Um, and anyway, you don't need to fly when you're cutting down trees. Did, did, they, did they just basically stop? Uh, a line here, guys? Really? Do you know do you know what? Have you guys been cheating on here? Because that looks awfully like somebody like just deleted a great big chunk of trees in the area. That's weird, right, okay. So trees this way. Forest we need to cut down. Okay, so I'm gonna hop over here. I'm just gonna have a look at the magnitude of this job first. 
Because these all look like normal trees. So that doesn't look quite so bad. Okay. Well, I'm not. Oh, jungle. Aha, that'd be jungle. Uh, a jungle that's not loaded. What's the spawn distance on this thing? Yeah, I, th I did wonder whether it was a weird chunk thing. Maybe it's when they did some backups or recoveries or something. But it's highly suspicious that those trees are just so cleanly cut like that. It's a little bit odd. Right, so what I'm going to do is that first of all, we're going to set up a Mon PJC uh, PLC uh, home base. Oh, look. For Fram, Fra Fran? Is that her name? That is, isn't it? I can't see all of that and I can't read backwards. Fran. Is it, uh, it's probably Fran Island? I don't know. Right. Um, where would be a nice little base to start? Because there's a few tunnels and stuff around here. There's a few stones. So my plan is that when I'm going to help out people and I'm going to move in and do a bit of digging and clearing and hey there, I, 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 oh God, if you think Azuma is bad at pronouncing names, Ape, Ape Rover. Oh, Ape Rover. Hello, Ape Rover. They're in chat. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at reading names because I'm dyslexic and can't read a word. So, wherever I lay my hat is where my bed is. Um, this will do. One bed. And let's put some shulker boxes down here because I've got some kit in these that will probably be useful. And do I actually have a silk touch pick? Uh, yes, that's silk touch. Right, okay. I don't want to put that down and not have anything in it. So I've got a bit of food. What have we got in these? Some ender chest, spare bed, lots of stuff there. Oh, some useful bits there. Yeah, yeah, some fish. Okay, I'm all right for food to start with. And I've got a load of logs, which I had from last time. Okay, uh, no furnace. Have I got... Uh, let's, let's get a furnace sorted out. What do you mean I don't... Oh, yeah, of course, I'm in there, aren't I? Let's get a furnace down. Uh, did we have any coal? Anyone seen any coal? No? Right, we'll use some of this. There we go. We're going to be cut, cutting down a load of trees. So it really don't matter uh, of what we do out there. Uh, thanks for the follow there, Ape River. Ape River. How did you come up with Ape River? I mean, I thought my name was... Uh-oh. It's going to get dark. Okay. Um, I have plenty of fish at the moment, so I'm not going to start farming any of the natural animals around here at the moment. Apples are going to be a thing we can do. Uh, yeah, lighting. So I'm going to probably want some... Uh, it'd be nice to get some torches out of this stuff. So, uh, you want some birch wood, for goodness sake. I mean, what, what do we use it for? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Oh no, I'm going to get cut off by uh, Twitch now for... Um, putting out a uh, copyright music <coughs> yeah my singing's that good uh, do, 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 do. let's just get a little bit of a radius here and we'll put a sign down say this is where my temporary home is uh oh it's a long story for your name is it oh okay well mine basically for anyone who's interested because uh, most people can probably actually work out the, my real life name because my name is Mon PJC used to be as a name as a blogger and I used to do a lot of engineering blogs and stuff and engineers are very suspicious of anyone who they don't know who you are and what you why is there XP there um, who you are and what's going on oh melon I do like a bit of melon, as you may have noticed. And so it's just like 
I used my real name and I used Mon PJC. It was a, a name that I used when I first started on the internet, just as an easy way of uh, getting online back in the days when it was dial up. Yeah, I'm old. And um, yeah. I've made myself a little narrow gap here. There we go. Right, awesome. That'll do. Should we see if I set my spawn here? Is anyone else like to sleep on the server? That'd be awesome. Ah, uh, see, I'm just huggling in my bed. Just one person to skip the night. Be awesome. Yay! Awesome. Right, there we go. Uh, right, so we're getting them going and got that going. Right, let's go start getting some. Uh, yeah. Basically, the first thing we really want to do jungle logs, we're going to be using up loads of that. Is we want to get a load of chests down. Oh, actually, I wanted a sign first, didn't I? Then we'll have a load of chests. Because these chests are going to be for our storage of all the wood we're going to be collecting. Uh, yeah, I was talking about my name just now, wasn't I? Yeah, so people know that my real name is Paul. And I'm not worried about that because everyone out there can find out about that. So PJC is actually my real life name initials. The Monbit was a nickname that someone I knew had. And it sort of just stuck, basically. And that's it. Right, so. Welcome. I was always told to be nice at the beginning. Welcome. This is... Mon PJC Temp Base Camp AKA The Grinder. Oh, look at that, it actually fits. Did anyone think I've done this before? Oh, well, not like that anyway. Uh, let's chuck them in there and chuck that in there. Right, so let's get on with uh, cutting the wood down then, I suppose. Uh, trees. Trees ho! What is Why is that black under there? Is, is this your texture pack, guys? Really? Have you got non-see-through trees? Or is it just what Optifine's doing? Hello, I'm going to cut down your forest. Oh, lag. So, yeah, that's how I ended up getting my weird username, I guess. I don't suppose people come up with weird names all the time. I have seen some really strange ones online that people use. I also wonder how on earth they managed to keep them on there as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Need fancy textures on. Uh, do I? Fancy textures. I mean not to find. Video settings. Uh, details. Clouds of moon fog. Uh, and uh, quality, immersive textures on, they're either on or off. Oh, my computer just went really slow because I clicked the button. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'll turn that back on. Better grass off, connected textures off, custom graphics fast fancy you're saying right uh, okay uh back to there graphics for oh yeah there we go oh look at that community support hey, hey that's better that's what i'm used to seeing right otherwise you can't see the creepers through the trees they come up behind you uh did i get all them i think i did right what i do is i'm going to cut down trees and then if there's any issue with stuff that won't despawn in the way of leaves and stuff, we'll sort that out later. 
and I guess something I need to do is sort of like just keep my bearings of where I am because otherwise it's very easy in a forest to just like go diving off in any direction. So I might tackle this um, birchwood stuff first. And I will also warn people as well, I might disappear at some point. My partner, who is Halo Phoenix, who also plays a little bit of Minecraft, when I can get her to play. And she comes in on my videos as well. She's actually really funny. My videos are boring, and then she comes in, and they're a lot more fun. Apparently people wet themselves with laughter with the way we two of us carry on. Um... Uh, what are your base coordinates, by the way? Uh, are you talking? I assume you're talking about the coordinates where I am here. So I'm currently at minus seven nineteen seventy four. Not important. Uh, sixteen forty sixteen four double two. What is that? Is that is that tree loaded? No, that's a weird base. Let's update them and they might actually despawn. Woof. Ooh, have I got any bones? I have. Hey, doggy. Hello, doggy. Oh, okay. You don't want to be friends. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really difficult being a grinder because you can get lost. You can end up going all over the place. And one of the things I don't do is I don't worry about picking up every single thing that there is. Because it is looking, it is difficult. And it's not exactly a massive loss. That's weird. I haven't seen anything like that in the game either. You guys must have a weird, um, weird map. I haven't seen anything like that in mine. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to work backwards and forwards, and I basically will work on these birchwood trees first, and then figure out what we're going to do after that. So it's sort of like pick out zones where I can work. Yeah, so I might disappear because um, Halo is around her mum's at the moment. And she will need a lift back. And I said, well, I'm going to go and do some streaming while you're around your mum. And get this done. Because I said to Fran that I would do this. And help clear out loads of trees. Hello! Oh, he's gone. A pretty parrot. Who's a pretty boy then? Just so anyone can answer in chat, you are allowed to say, I'm the pretty one. I mean, you have seen my skin. I don't seem to be picking anything up. Oh, it must be. The inventory is actually empty. There'd be a tree in there. So this is not the first time I've actually done this on the server. So I was enlisted by Winnie to do a bit of a tree dropping tree cropping over in the main area where the um, near the football stadium which is uh, was quite nice I spent quite a bit of time there I spent about eight hours I guess in total probably clearing out a load of trees for an area they've started building there now yeah look there's this weird chunk thing going on here as well I'm not really sure what's going on there. Okay. The tree under there. There is. These are actually much easier to work on than it is working on the forest trees, clearing those out. Because you get these single logs on the ground. And they're a real pain. They just don't want to go anywhere. That tree was shorter than I thought it was going to be. Hello, Mr. Black Sheep. Are you the Black Sheep? The Black Sheep. Nope, you're a nun sheep. I call them nun sheep. 
Yeah, so you get a single block like that, and you get all those trees around there, and it's like, oh, what a pain. I've got to clear all that out just for that. What I might do is I might just, like, hack into a lot of this and then have a chat with Fran and say to her if she can sort of, like, come over and give me an idea of the, the width and the breadth that I need to clear out. I'm not entirely sure, but certainly crack into these. Now, guessing as the trees were cleared in this side, then they want to be cleared that side as well. Let's just run over here and have a look, see how far this goes. I'll get an idea of mainly the area that I'm cutting out. Yeah, there's definitely like, like a load of trees missing in a big long line here. She's really suspect looking. It'd be lava. Uh, is that ocean? Or is that just unloaded? Mm, that looks like it's unloaded. Okay, let's have a look. I can't tell. I'm going to have to go and have a look. And it's getting dark, and I'm going to get visitors. No, that is all jungle trees. Oh, okay, right. So, the thing I want to do is I'll just concentrate on the area I'm in and try and uh, work my way through that stuff. Oh, they haven't got the light thing on for Optifine. Oh, guys, I can't see where I'm going. Let's go this way. More XP. Free XP for everyone. Hey, thank you very much for sleeping, whoever that was. Yeah, eight Rover. Thanks very much for that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, Phantoms either, to be honest. So what I might do is I might just go as far as this tree here. Because there's this sort of line here, and I'm just going to work my way forward from there. And then that way... I don't accidentally end up hacking out loads of trees that may be actually wanted. Get out the weed bushes. Yeah, the other thing with the uh, jungle areas as well is you can get all sorts of things roaming around in there, in the way of creepers and skeletons hiding under the, uh, the stuff. Is that where I want to be? Probably went too far. Nobody will notice that one. That was a mistake. Right, so that one. Uh, we'll take this one out because they'll be connected. Thank you. The Fran actually said that she wanted the wood from all this. So I don't know what you're going to do with all this. It's going to be a lot of wood. An awful lot of wood. And sometimes when you're doing it like this, it does feel like you're really not making much of a dent in it. Especially when the trees are not clear. That tends to be why I tend to zigzag backwards and forwards, because you stand a better chance then. With the leaves despawning and you can sort of like see where you've gone. I think dynamic lighting works but might need to activate it somewhere in the settings. Yeah, options. See, I think this is really useful. You're really helping out here. Uh, options, video settings, dynamic lighting. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Fancy. This is awesome. Um, Basically, I got all this stuff switched on on my uh, main computer. I actually, well, this is my main computer. So I'll just explain a little bit about my setup, shall I? So I have a older i5 processor and uh, eight gig of memory. It's about seven, eight years old. 
a 750 NVIDIA graphics card and it's not the super fastest computer there is going and it, it sort of just about copes with the streaming side of stuff um, but I liked I wanted to get into more recording better quality HD stuff Oi, what are you doing can I help Would you, do you want something to eat have I got any seed no I've got no seeds you can have melon melon have a melon I like them you don't like the melon you gave it back okay then could you not nudge me off the edge? That'd be really nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so my PC is not the most super fastest thing in the world. And the way I get better gameplay is a little bit cheeky. So what I do is I actually play with, or I actually have uh, Ubuntu, which is a form of Linux installed on my computer. This is another use of the uh, see-through trees. I can see where the logs are up there. I think that's all of them. Oh, I've turned myself around. There we go. And I get really high frame rates on that. I can get 500 frames a second easy on that machine, which is uh, really quite nice. And that's in HD, and it will record, and I get no problems at all. However, Streamlabs, uh, yeah, not so much of a thing for Linux users. It's only on Windows. Plus, I'm also using a audio program for my mixing. Of stuff it's a free app I can't remember what it's called what's it called voice meter banana um, got it open on my uh, side screen here so I use that because that allows me to mix the audios on the desktop to choose what people hear I can mute stuff I can put music on and it just allows a lot more functionality by doing stuff that way look at that tree no. I wonder if Minecraft will ever get to a position where you can actually like take out the bottom bit of the tree and that's it. But then I'll be out of a job then, wouldn't I? That's not such a good idea. Let's check my chat just in case the uh, my good ladies are needing some help. Where, which way was I facing? Right. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. There looks like there might be a log in amongst that lot somewhere because that doesn't look like it's despawning. No. There we go. Make sure we do a clean job of cutting down the trees. Okay, so let's go back over here. And I'm going to dump off a load of wood while I'm back over this way. Uh, we need to campaign for more Linux streaming software. Yeah, we do actually. I mean, it makes a makes more sense you can get some really good uh, speeds out because you're not having to worry about antivirus I need that you're not having to worry about antivirus software you're not having to worry about um, the speed of the computer and other stuff and you know it's just so much quicker to do stuff on a Linux machine so what I do is I dual boot my computer. So this is, I'm currently running, blah, blah, put my teeth in, currently running Windows 7 on this machine as well. And got Streamlabs on here as well. So that's that tree there. Oh, that's a bit of a, oh, I found myself a nice spot. Oh, I missed that one, didn't I? This mon pjc is where you need rockets and you need to learn to be able to use them but that's not a problem hello piggy i wouldn't hang around there too long because i'm you might end up being my lunch at some point or another right uh trees there that one there 
Uh, that one there with the little yellow flower. You. Yeah, so what I'm also going to do when I'm in this area... Yeah, so I better carry on talking about my computer, isn't I? So yeah, that's what I use. is Windows 7, Streamlabs, uh, obviously Minecraft, Voice Meter Banana for mixing my audio, and that's it pretty much done. I use Movie Maker to do my editing. That's... Uh, Quite a nice little package it runs at decent speed it's not particularly brilliant at rendering but um, I'm actually hoping to get a bit of money soon from saving up and buy myself a brand new computer yeah I, I, I sort of agree with you uh, eight over it is way too busy to go outside so I'm from the uh, U of K I don't know if no one's actually worked that out from my voice yet where it was a real scorcher yesterday oh my goodness was it hot yesterday so me and my partner me and Halo were out yesterday from about 7 o'clock um, well no it was a bit later than that about 8 o'clock I think it was I went out to uh, walk the dog was getting warm then and we were out in the heat and Halo was doing a fantastic job because she was out all day in the heat doing stuff um, and uh, I was out in the heat from about 2 till 4 I guess well, this is a nice line to break it against the uh, sea line here and uh, I walked around there with her to drop uh, around to her mum's, but I did say I'll drive back and collect her. Shouldn't live a massive distance away. Yeah, I know. I mean, we were out actually in direct sunlight as well, because um, we play a sort of a, an outdoor sporty game, and uh, there isn't much shade. Speaking of which, I notice it's getting dark over there, so I'm going to head back up towards my bed. There will be the lights. Just drop off a bit of wood, Let's see if we can get some more sleeping done. Let's make life a bit easier for ourselves. Uh, I might be processing some of this at some point as well. Yeah, so, yeah, we were pretty hot. We did manage to get quite a bit of sun cream on, though, and uh, so no burning, thankfully. And uh, thanks, April River. And uh, we sorted ourselves out, got ourselves, kept ourselves uh, well hydrated and everything, and we did a good job. Uh, we won both our games, which was also pretty awesome as well. So let's go back down here. Uh, let's take that tree and start over here. So we had quite a successful day. It was just very hot. It was 32 degrees out in the sun yesterday. So uh, that was not the most pleasant. I mean, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, there's a lot of countries you go to where 32 degrees is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, places like Florida or in Spain, it's fantastic. But in the UK, when it's 32 degrees, it's also like really muggy. And you get a lot of humidity as well. And that's just really draining. Yeah, we're both okay. Just tired, more than anything. I just uh, need to get some sleep. I'll have those back, please. Thank you very much. So we were quite late up this morning. Hey, all right, I'll come. 
Yeah, the um, the way the weather works, it's sort of like a whole global thing. Mo many people know like the jet stream, which is a flow of air which runs around the top and the bottom of the world. Uh, but there's also another flow of air, the way stuff works, in that there's like these plumes of air that travel up from the equator and there's three layers of them and it's the jet stream that sort of like separates them so the first lot of hot air that sort of like uh how can you sort of explain it if you've got the equator here uh, the, the hot air travels up over and down again and the problem is is that, that where spain is and uh all the really nice places to go on holiday are here but then over here you get another flow of air traveling the other way around and of course we're in the uk over here so when this mo this jet stream moves this way we end up with uh, really nice hot weather but lots of moisture pulled in as well and a lot of the time the jet stream moves south of us and it's pouring with rain which is why we have this fascination with the weather here apparently be honest i don't think it's any different than anyone else really when it comes to the weather other than the fact we're known for it and a nice cup of tea I do like a nice cup of tea more of a coffee drinker myself to be perfectly honest uh yeah don't want to get too carried away going that way so part of my plan is a grinder how do i go about grinding well, I like this sort of thing because I can just natter to myself or to Ape River, who's in chat right now. Thank you very much for joining in. And um, basically, just very therapeutic doing this for me. I don't have to think much. I get real satisfaction from playing the game. I get cows watching me, like these ones. Are obviously fascinated by the whole process of their forest disappearing around them. There's some very weird looking trees in this area. What on earth has been going on? It's almost like it's an area where you've had two seeds change. Ah, oh, maybe that's it. Maybe when they've done like a server update and the game mechanics have changed the, how the seed works or something. Ah, somebody else who likes a cup of tea. Yeah, I, d I don't mind a cup of tea. I'm not going to name brands, but I like the ones that comes in the triangular uh, tea bag. I used to like the round ones. Um, but I, I definitely tea has a taste change depending on the kettle. Kettles have a lot to do with the tea. I suppose there's a lot of connoisseurs that would say, yeah, pyramids are quite nice. Um... A lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, you should do it in a pot or you should do this, this and that and stuff. I haven't got time for that. But yeah, I do like coffee. A nice cup of coffee. Never used to. Got into it more. Nice latte. Hazelnut latte. I like shots in my lattes. Chai tea is really nice. I mean, that's like uh, a tea and a coffee in one. But yes, so my plan for grinding is doing this sort of stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to box all this stuff up, transport it around. It's going to get harder the further in I go because it's going to be a long walk back. I'm not sure how far this goes. I did look at the map that Fran gave me and it did look quite a long way. But what I'll also do is I'll sort of build a little mini base up as I go. So some of this wood will be used for cooking. There's cows and sheep in the area. So what I'll do is as, as I start getting through my food, I'll start making a little mini farm. I, could, could you not push? We're, we're near the edge here. I'd rather you didn't push me off the edge, boy. Otherwise you're gonna be supper. Just a good job I've got wool already. Um, so how much food have I got? Because this stuff goes down really quickly. 
and the cows are looking really nice. Hmm. Let's crack on a bit. So the jungle's starting over there. Okay. Let me get this birch wood out of the way. That would let see. Huh, see the wood for the trees, as they say. So then, uh, Ape River. I think you forgot your name now. I can remember the ape. I just didn't want to call you ape. What's your favourite part of Minecraft? What do you like doing? Because I'm pretty much... A, I like building big builds. Like castles and stuff like that. Now I won't call you ape because when I when I if I edit any of this and I end up sticking it on YouTube, people will wonder what on earth I'm talking about. I might use a time lapse of this stuff. I'm thinking of doing a little mini series. Uh, I've got my main Let's Play series that I do, and I'm actually thinking of doing a series where I call it Minecraft the Grind, and sort of talk about this stuff and use time lapses from just grinding down the trees. I think that would be quite cool. It would be like a bit of an, uh, an adventure. What you find, talk about different things, the progress you make. Yes, I do like this sort of grindy stuff. And Halo does as well. Oh my god, she goes out and comes back with chests full of like blocks of redstone and god knows what else. And goes, what do I do with all this? Um... So, 8 River says, I like adding detail generally. Small, rundown buildings, uh, but tend to do a lot of grinding too, like biome removal, replacement, and large organic builds. Yeah, I mean, that, that's quite a big thing to do, is like change a biome out. Wow. That's quite a bit of work. Especially if you can sort of gonna change the way it looks. There's a block of tree up there. Look, who left that? Has it got a name on it? Look. Look at that. Who did that? Seriously, guys? That's poor workmanship. Really poor workmanship. Right, let's go chuck some of this back. And while we're at it, let's see. Oh, wrong button. So we can grab a few seeds while we're here. Because I don't think I've got any. Just a few seeds, you know. Ah, oh, one. And we'll get a little bit of a, of growing going. Is there only one? Wow. I thought grass dropped seeds quicker than that. There we go. My goodness. There we go. Well, at least two. My little plantation will look rubbish. There we go, got three. Okay, let's go over. Where's my base gone? Did I leave it up here? Nope, I've turned myself around. So that's what I do. There we go. It's always better to head back towards my base at night because then I can see where it is. <laughs> it's the only place lit up. One of the advantages of being a grinder. You're the only one around. You don't get much lag either. Yes, I like making like big castles. I'm building like a steampunk type world at the moment. That's what I'm going for. Look at that lovely birch. Loads of it. Right. Um, what I might do start with is I might just stick a water source in here because I'm I'm about to do something dorky like forget myself and yeah there is water all the way over there but I don't really want to go for a long walk uh, right let's have a little bit of farmland shall I see if I can sleep first just to see if anyone else is there uh quite impressive there aren't any leaves near it mm. yeah surely more effort has happened yeah it's just like take the blocks out It'd just be so much easier to do that thank you very much for the sleep 
Right, so let's have a little area here. Um, actually, if I'm cunning and put it here. Have I got a shovel? I have got a shovel somewhere. There it is. Um, I've now completely forgotten what I was talking about. It will come back to me in a minute. Right, so we've got some water there. So let's get some tilling going. This is like very basic Minecraft, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Because it's always good to get some basics down on the ground and get your little camp going. So that'll start growing some stuff. Next time we'll come back, we'll start doing that. And then at some point we'll start making some fences and we'll start bringing in a few cows. And we'll start sorting them out. Right, let's have a look to see if I've left. Did you leave an egg? Oh, thank you very much. That'll come in very handy. Thank you very much. Any food supplies are welcome. Yep, that looks fairly clean. Hmm... That looks like it needs a bit of work on the side of it there, but that's not horrendous. I just like stuff to look neat, I guess, more than anything. Just don't like it looking like someone's hacked a load of trees down. There we go, there's a weird looking look, sort of bit of tree there. We weren't going to do them. Right, let's go down there and get them. I might also have to keep my eye out for a horse or something, because that would be quite useful. Because then I can like whip around a bit quicker back as a horse to my base. I don't think I'm going to be collecting enough iron to... Um, Look at that, look, look, look. Who, do, who does that? Is that in the boundary? I'm gonna let that one stay, just for now. Looks like someone's been ripping this area out for resources in some way. I'm gonna leave those over there. The pumpkins are gonna be that line there. And then forest wise, we're gonna take out that entire forest. I thought there was a signpost there then. Still toad. Gave me the box, one of the shulker boxes I've got. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, TNT is okay for blowing out trees, but I mean, yeah, it does drop everything now, but you still got to make the TNT, put it down. It can be more fun. Not sure. It's, you can also end up destroying the the surrounding area all the time. Oh, I see what you might mean is that maybe the TNT was what people have been setting off. Or creepers even. That's a good possibility. People have been in the area and stuff's blown up around them. Could be why stuff looks like it does. It's just, just very like weird world generating type stuff just don't expect I always considered myself as a little bit of a nomad sort of like traveling around it's probably because I'm a bit of a loner even though I'm on like a stream and I'm just like waffling away and chatting to people I have no idea who you are or where you're from and all that sort of stuff that doesn't worry me, but I guess I sort of just, I do like being a bit private. I think everyone does. The amount of saplings I'll be collecting here, I'll be able to start my own forest. I always thought it would be a bit of a shame, like you go from one server to the next. I mean, wouldn't it be really good if I could like do all this chopping down here and Fran turned around and said, actually, I don't need any of this. Uh, and I go, oh, okay, that's really cool. Because what I'll do is I'll take it to my server. I mean, I know that's, is that possible when you use bungee cord? I don't know. Maybe you 
can actually take your stuff between one server and the other. I suppose I could sort of like make a rule for myself that that's something I did. That I do something like uh, burn all the wood here in lava, like count it up like I've got like 50 stacks of wood and I like burn them all up. And then when I get to my other world, because I'm an op, I just give myself 50 stacks of wood. Would that sound legit? What do you think? Hmm, not sure. I suppose it could be a good idea. It would be, be nice if we could do it in the server. Um, might be possible in some circumstances. Yeah, I think it would be really useful. I do. I think it would be really cool, especially if he was like able to collect loads of diamonds and stuff. Right, so there's no birch wood over there. But I guess people would potentially abuse it. What's happening here? Is there a tree in here somewhere? There is. Thank you. Yeah, look, there's another line here. There's definitely some sort of regen or map thing going on. Very interesting indeed. And a random piece of stone. Yeah, the terrain around here is definitely a little bit odd. I can't remember when it was they changed the... Uh, I think 1 point... Is it 1.8 they changed the way the map generation worked? I can't remember. Because there was a point, and I think they said for 1.13 as well, because that's why I didn't start playing until I started one one thirteen came out. Uh, with my let's play because I didn't want to have to go through all the map regeneration tools that there are and how it was going to generate the world and what would happen and that change of the terrain and stuff so I thought I'll just start with 113 and go from that with the Acro update it's funny though really with the Acro update I mean all that hype that we had about it I've not really seen a lot of bases where people are using like underwater bases and really taking advantage of the whole aqua update that we did. Um, might be a uh, mess up the server economy though I thought. If it, yeah if it, could, it could be exploited. 1.7 was new biomes I think. Yeah and definitely 1.13. That's definitely changed the way. And I'm liking it. I think this is fantastic. I mean, I've got three licenses. I was given one by a company who was sort of like interested in... What the heck? Impossible trees in Minecraft. And it's just so cheap to buy... That's what's really cool. Ah, oh, there would be. There would be. I haven't had to do this yet. Let's use some earth. I mean, how many people are probably saying, oh, scaffolding. Not that. I don't know about the scaffolding. I've not actually tried it. To be honest, I've not actually even really tried a 114 world. I did start a map, but I didn't do any more than that. Uh, mainly because I've been doing everything in 113 and if I go to 114 I want to put it on my server which means it's not been stable I mean if Hermitcraft aren't being haven't been completely happy with the whole update then why would I I know I'm not them but makes you wonder right that seems to be our most of the birch I mean, the birch forest comes down to where those where that's that is there so i'll have to check with fran if that's what she wants if she turns around and says she wants this then there's a load of saplings she can make her own forest <laughs> but she said cut everywhere north all right fine yeah this looks like it's been tackled with tnt and it's not been a hundred percent successful that's what happens guys get the grinder in Hmm. 
Yeah, there's that line there again. Look, there, there is like a massive line through the world here. Where those trees were. There's definitely like some sort of border or something. Probably on a chunk border. Right, looks like it's... There is a pig with a saddle. Oh. Hang on a minute. Coming out. Seriously? This is a pig with a saddle. How'd you get the saddle off the pig? Really? This this is a thing? I gotta take a picture of this now. Uh, piggy, uh, d be really nice if you'd like, hey. Yeah, I might kill him in a minute, see if I can get the saddle. I'm gonna try and get a picture. Piggy, I don't, look, I don't have a carrot. Looks like you've had a go at the, the whole jumping off things type stuff. Hang on, right, that's it, that's, that's good, that's good. Wait, 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 wait there, and screenshot. Thank you very much. If, if you can turn round, I get, no, I don't want a picture of your butt. Really? Oh, he's going for a walk. Oh, where are we going? Oh, no. That'll do nicely. Just about there. Thank you very much. Um, now, Piggy. Hello. <laughs> uh, you see what I've got? Um, yeah. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, got a saddle. Look at that. Excellent. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Piggy. Right. Uh, where do I live? Over there, by the looks of it. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Somebody will probably sleep by the time I get there. Which I'm not worried about. <laughs> Free saddle, yeah. Yay! At least now if I find a horse anywhere, I can actually sort of... Well, actually, if I find a donkey, that'd be awesome. But if I find a horse anywhere, then at least I've got a, something I can ride around on. Which would be quite nice. Well, that's not growing very fast, is it? Oh, I didn't know you could till soil that was already done. I didn't think that was a thing. Oh. oh. Something else I learned. There we go. Uh, cows. Do, 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 do. Right, let's have a look. How are we getting on with this chest? Nearly filled it up with a load of junk. Um, we'll keep the piece of pork. And we'll keep the egg. And we've got an apple for some reason. Put my elytra over there. Keep the dirt. Eight rovers just fell asleep. I would dive in the bed as well. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Oh my word, look at that lot down there. Well, it's all right, because the skeletons will burn up. But the creepers, hmm, might be a little bit more fun. I don't have a bow either. I really should sort myself out. Okay, right. Well, we'll leave them to it. And we'll go back and assess where we're starting next. So what I might do is I might actually leave some torches over here just to allow me to remember where I am. I do get lost at times. Do, 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 do. Cool, you could build a really nice base here, couldn't you? Look at that. You've got that like, lake and you've got the green grass and the different textures. That's really quite pretty. There we go. I'll leave a couple of torches there. I'll remember which one I'm supposed to be going to get back. Right, let's sort these out. Which have decided to not despawn. Or are these the ones that have only just... There are no updates happening. Get out of here. I'll just keep coming back to them. That's it, they're updating now. And these ones. There we go. Right. They'll update and be got rid of. So where is... Let's put that back where it's supposed to be. 
let's have a look around and see what we've got. Bit of surveillance. Okie dokie. So, our little base camp's over there. We've cleared out all of this area here so far. Which is, uh, I mean, a lot of it was cut down already, but that's a reasonably good job. I think so far. Yep, that doesn't look too bad. It looks reasonably clean and tidy. Looks like it's a more natural edge there. There's a few leaves on the ground there. I'll be going to check those out. They all look okay. And then we've got all of this lot. And we'll also be collecting a lot of those to make biscuits. That's not too bad. Let's have a look over there. That's okay. So let's have a look at the time. It's six o'clock here in the UK. So where shall I tackle first? Should I just make a bit of an indent in here? Or should I try and take out this edge over here? I'm interested to see if that goes that far that way. I could do actually. So let's do that. Let's let's start down here and head out that way and see what we get. is leave myself a little signpost here there we go does this have mending on it it does yes yeah, so I might need to go and have to kill some mobs with this at some point get some XP back on it unless as um, April over if you could let me know is there somewhere where you can get XP is there like a, a nice XP grind around here anywhere? Or is it just going to be a case of like kill mobs? Oh, poop. South Axis 800-ish. Oh, okay. That's not actually a million miles from where I am because I'm out at 21. What the heck happened here? It's like a massive explosion of TNT, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is definitely a TNT thing. Because they've done stuff like this now, and now they've made it like really difficult for themselves. I'm going to try something really heroic now because <laughs> that sort of looks like it goes up quite a way I know let's just stand on a floating tree and cut it down says I don't know what I'm doing oh I see an overworld pigman thingy what's it dubry oh yeah okay that'd be quite cool oh look at this look look even the water streams are being left in a mess dear oh dear oh dear right should we see if we can tidy uh, uh, I just have this thing about the world looking right. Where's the source blocks? source blocks along here somewhere. There we go. Found ya. Just make the place look a little bit more tidy. Can't 
be traveling around and like leaving great big mess like that it's just not realistic it's not how the world looks there we go at least this way it looks like we've got this like little pond thing going on here and it's natural I'm all for it looking nice there we go awesome that's better Oop, you said flame water right so just come down there and we're gonna go this way oh see there's more here oh wait just stick my bits let's get rid of the water oh let's use the right tool yeah that looks too bad right now for the scary bit start coming in here and finding uh, all sorts of things living in the jungle where they haven't despawned because the map is going to have its best effort now probably at trying to spawn stuff around me while I'm in here now what I really want to do is get up the top of a lot of these and uh, dig them down cut them down from the top grindy and a lot more difficult when you get in here. That's why I've been given the job. So, do I have shears on me? I do. Let's get some shears. Thank you very much. So, we want to collect some of these. The reason being is it's the map's natural ladder system. And by collecting vines means that I can use these as I'm going around to get up some of the trees. Let's go over here and have another look where we're doing. Right, okay. I'm trying to remember which direction I've actually been facing in and I want to put something I want to get rid of that block that's up there. Yeah, it's from TNT. Yeah, definitely can't reach that from here. Right, so we're based over there, if I'm correct. What's that? That wasn't me, was it? No, that's not the direction I came in from. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, because that should be the lake. And yeah, there's my torches there. So that's where we've come in from, over there. We cleared all of that there. And we want to clear this stuff around this area. I might just make another torch here so I know which way I've come in from. Just got some blighting posts. Yeah, I can see that one over there. Okay, let's go down through there. We've got the river. Should I go back and see if I can sort out my food? I think I'll do that. Wow, that's a big drop. Do, 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 do. Perfect place to stick me a light drawer on from, I guess. Yep, I crashed. That's what I do. I'm terrible at this thing. Does allow me to take shortcuts though. Ah, so much better with the dynamic lighting on. I don't end up falling down holes. Do, 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 do. What do you, oh, I just gone past it. Alright, let's get rid of this stuff. That, that, oh no, I wanted them, didn't I? That, get rid of that. Um, I'll hold on to the seed. 
let's go over here and see if we can sort out our little farm area. It's progressing. Got one seed from that. Wasn't very many. But I got a bit of wheat. That's cool. And that just means I can get this farm going and start breeding some cows at some point. Got some charcoal. Uh, yeah, that's quite good. Right, I might sit myself in the bed. And I'm going to wait. Oh. My other half has just asked me to go and get her. So this is an awesome time for me to end our stream. Just message her that now I'm on my way. Right, so it's daytime. I've cut down quite a few trees. Uh, let's maybe do another screenshot from here. So um, thanks everyone for watching and especially for Aprover for your support and help. Uh, that was really helpful. Uh, this is Mon PJC's base camp, AKA the grinder. Please feel free to stop by my uh, YouTube channel, which is also Mon PJC Plays Minecraft, uh, Discord, Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of thing, or DM me if you've got any grinding you like to do. Thanks very much, and see you later. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Bye.